Good day, everybody. Mike Flores here, your local Las Cruces realtor, new home expert. Thank you so much for joining us today on another gorgeous home tour. We are actually in Diamond Springs. This is also on the East Mesa, located around Sonoma Ranch, kind of in between Sonoma Ranch Boulevard and Roadrunner. Very nice area, very centrally located. I can't wait to show you we have this home. It's a Velos home, 2,316 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, and a three car garage, even though it looks like a two car. Take a look at this. Starting off with the front presentation of this home, if you even look at the driveway, they do this diamond pattern, and I really like the diamond pattern. It's something a little bit different than what we typically see with straight lines across. Those are called expansion joints. That's what helps any kind of cracking for concrete. Um, it goes actually in those instead of on the concrete face itself. It's not 100% um, a solution for it, but it does definitely help out by not getting the cracks there and more guiding the cracking to be in a specific area. Now, outside desert landscaping, you got several several bushes, sage bushes, um, a couple of different trees, red yuccas. This is a brand new home. It's only been on the market for a couple of months. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to thank Charles Kaje for allowing us to tour this amazing property. The outside of this is a farm home look and one of their very popular floor plans, as you can see, it's just really super nice. So you come up to the garage, got raised panel garage door. It's a seven foot garage door itself. That's an insulated garage. I'll show you that. It's really cool. Looks like a two car, but it's actually a three car garage, a beautiful place. Now they also have an option to make that into a fourth bedroom if you wanted to make this from a three bedroom to a four. So just a really cool option. Really high ceil really high ceilings on the outside, or I should say high walls. You got corbels up here, flat roof tile, lot, nice little contrast, a very slight contrast from a lighter tan to a little bit darker of a tan. Nice coach lights. I like that they put these in contrast with the synthetic grade stucco, rounded corners. Now, take a look at this overhang here. This is a really cool, really, really cool feature of the farmhouse. They have these posts that come out that makes it look like it's holding up this front patio that covers the front window. Windows are very, very energy efficient. I believe these are series 80, um, which just means it has a lot more titanium oxide than normal windows or the normal low E windows. Um, nice pop outs. You can see how they kind of bring the pop out, then they inset the window. Of course, the home is two by six. This is a random or a staggered two by four to make a two by six cavity inside the walls. Gives you a very nice thermal break and uh, just a really cool way to present the front of this home. And I love this flat roof tile. If you can see it now really well on the side here, and it's not, you know, normally what you see is arch tile. In this one, you're seeing a flat tile with a little bit of grates and then like a wood fascia on the soffits. Double tiered parapet walls up top. Stacked quick stone all the way to the top of this. And I even like the little nicho they did. So they did a nicho and then they have this arch and it's a really nice contrasting value between the arch and the actual rock itself. So I imagine you walk up and it's like it really pops out at you. You got a light in here, eight foot stained door. You got a plug in over here, of course. And then of course your doorbell ringer. Let's take a look at this home. So right when you walk in, there's a feature that I see a lot in Veloz homes and it's called a growing vault ceiling. And this is in their foyer. What that means is you have it vaulted four different ways and then it peaks at the top. And what they do is they drop a chandelier at that peak. And this one has rounded soffits all the way around the foyer. Super nice. I mean, if you look, you come in this way and you actually look through, you can see straight through the home and there's two different types of tile in here. You have your elongated tile, um, which is about a 16 by 12. And then you have a random staggered wood look tile. We're going to go into that, but let's start off with the bedrooms. Let's go on this side. This is the south side of the home. Got a nice linen closet. One, two, three, four, five shelves. Raised panel, eight foot door. Super good. Two bedrooms, and I'm going to show you what a Jack and Jill bathroom looks like. Walk-in closet. So you got some plenty of hanging space in there for your guests. All LED lights. Now this is pre-wired for a fan. And then you have your heating and cooling vent. And then over here you have your jumper duct. 
That's gonna be your breathing point from room to room to room. So when your air conditioner or heater kicks on, it's not like an event. You won't have any whistling or slamming doors. Just a nice little patter. And then look at this. Wood ledging on the window soffits, I like that. That's really pretty. I mean, you put blinds on here and they can rest on top of that. Either way, you could put little, you know, little ornaments and stuff. That's really cool. Three centimeter thick granite. Now, if you notice, there's a door over here and a door over here. This is a, a bathroom that is shared by the two bedrooms and it kind of separates the two. So you can close one door, lock it up, and then you know that bedroom, the guest there can use the bathroom, vice versa on this side. You got three centimeter thick granite, undermounted rectangular sinks, mowing faucets, raised tile backsplash, all the way across, it's called a riser. Three centimeter, or this is a three or four inch thick, like a, Really nice oil rub bronze frame around it. And all this is oil rub bronze, by the way. Almost like a penny color. You got recessed lighting up here on the soffit itself on this arch. That's really cool. And then on this side, you have your tub. Look at the work they did up here. So you got that really pretty arch. You know, people have to, they actually have to cut that to make it fit that arch. Brick lay staggered going all the way up. Mowing faucets again. Nice tub. Of course, this would be a, a very nice little reading room. You got your shower, your shower hanger, and then a robe hang or a robe hook. And then going into the second bedroom. Nice. Now this is that, that window I was telling you about earlier with the overhang. So this is always my favorite room or any room that's in the front of the home because it typically has the nicest view, the most sunlight coming into the actual, you know, the bedroom itself or the room that it's in. And um, whenever those trees get bigger, the, you know, all the bushes get bigger, it's quite the pretty view from the front. And they did an extra large window here. It's two windows in one and they're operable, which means you can open them up and get some fresh air. I like that. Plugins all the way around. Over here, now this home is smart wired, so you're gonna have a little bit extra Cat 6 and RG6 down here, or Cat 5, whichever they're using, and then a walk-in, another walk-in closet. I like that it's, you know, these bedrooms don't have the sliders, they actually have the walk-in. Very nice. This home is actually listed right now, and if you're looking for more information on it, go to newhomeswithmike.com today and take a look at those. And uh, it'll give you all the information. It's a free website. We don't share your information. I won't be calling you to bother you. Um, it's strictly just for my clients to go out and look for homes in Las Cruces. Now, back in the foyer, there's your smart panel box. This is going to be your coat closet. And over here, you have a half bath. Got a pedestal sink, another framed mirror, a nice sconce, all oil rub bronze. And they just had an open house here as well. And that open house was conducted by Prosper Realty. If you haven't you know, heard about them, they're very good, located right off Sonoma Ranch Boulevard. Go in and talk to Mike and Dusty, tell them Mike Flores is high. Good people, by the way. Printed, printed tile here, really nice straight lay. It, you know, this is exactly where I would always envision printed tile would be in the laundry room. It kind of reminds me of like my grandma's home, but a more, way more modern version of this. My grandma's home had a shower and I remember growing up and I mean, when I was a kid, it was fine, but the shower head as I got older was like right here. So for me to wash my hair, I'd have to go like this. <laughs> so now the shower heads are way higher, but you know, it, this does remind me of, you know, the older style, but a really great way to bring in a traditional to the more modern home. Um, this is your 220 plug-in for your dryer. You got your plug-in for your washer, you got hot and cold. And this right here is gonna be where this goes all up to the ceiling to be able to bring in the exhaust from the dryer and take it outside. So very good. And then if you see this, You'll see these throughout new homes. These are access points for plumbers to get to things without having to rip open a wall. So if they have, like if you have a, a drain that's having a hard time draining, this is where they would actually feed the snake. Um, there's also gonna be several points outside that you'll see where you can actually get in there and uh, without having to tear up a wall and stuff, which is really good. I remember growing up, we had to tear a lot of walls to fix plumbing, so. <laughs> now this is a really cool garage. It's already textured, ready for paint. You got several built-in drywall shelving. Um, and this will really give you an idea of what hand trowel texture looks like without paint on it. You can actually see the drywall here, and this is actually texture. This is done by hand, and they, they do the ceilings as well. And I've said this before, if you come out at a certain time when a home is being built, these people are actually on stilts. I mean, literally, they're on stilts, it looks like a circus. People are going, they're doing this, and they're literally hand trawling the ceilings, um, which is incredible. I mean, talk about talent. I would have fall, I would break my leg. I mean, yeah, that would, not something that I would be able to do, that's for sure. 
maintenance deck now this is the three car bay so you have a two cars up here and then you have a third bay a lot of folks use this for storage they use it for you know workout room uh, pool tables all that good stuff I mean extra storage is always a good idea but then you have your maintenance deck here this is the only place in the entire home where you would actually change a filter. It's actually on, so I'm not gonna open it, but you would change, you open this flap up, you take the filter out, put a new one in, and you're done for the entire HVAC. That covers both the heater and the, and the AC unit. And then you have your, your water heater here, gas shutoff valve in case you know you got to turn it off if you smell gas or something you can turn it off there to get it repaired and then this little door here this is where your water shutoff valve is and the, this water shutoff valve will actually cut off the home from getting water but it'll still leave all of your all of your foliage still getting water up there so you don't have to worry about your tree missing a water that day or something like that and in the summer you really don't want to miss water days it gets pretty warm out here um, we have a very mild um, you know, temperature in Las Cruces, mild weather. I think the only thing that anybody could say about Cruces is sometimes we get some annoying wind. Today it's kind of breezy. You know, I don't mind it. In fact, I kind of like it when it's a little bit warmer out there to have that nice cool breeze. It's kind of nice. But these are 10 foot ceilings. This is a seven foot door. Um, it does have a lift master. This is a chain driven product. And lift master, if you want to know that if it's smart or not, you can see this right here. And there's a my cue on it. That'll tell you that you'll be able to use this um, with your phone. All you have to do is download the app and you can actually open it with your phone, do things like geofencing. Geofencing is like setting a, a invisible perimeter around your home and as your garage door opener senses you getting closer, it'll actually open up your garage for you, super cool. Um, especially if you're out for a walk and stuff, you don't want to take your keys, you know, you just want to go for a walk and, you know, kind of not jingle around as you're walking through the neighborhood. Um, drip system here. This controls all your water for all of your plants. Most new homes, I think almost all the new homes that I've seen, especially recently, have these. Um, of course, these do vary. This is an X-Core. Um, usually, this would be enough. In fact, I know it will. This will be enough to actually do the front and back, and you can tie in even more. It's capable of doing a lot more. So, very good. Let's take a look. Can't wait to see the rest of this home. So as you come back into the foyer space where we started, you come into the secondary foyer and right to the right of it, I mean, you can do a lot with this. You can make this a study. You can make this an actual, you know, large, like a formal dining room, um, I, uh, the secondary living room. So if you want to watch something different in here and have something going on in the great room, you can. It's got two windows, lots of plugins, LED lights all the way around. And you know, you look back at this right here and it's just very, very pretty and clean. I mean, literally, you can imagine artwork on the walls. You know, these are 10 foot ceilings, so lots of wall space to put artwork on. I really love this. Got a fan in here, of course. And then my favorite part of this home, random staggered tile flooring. You got ceiling beams up here, you got fans, you got pendant lights, chandeliers really beautifully presented. This is a gray stained cabinetry, kind of a beveled shaker style, a soft closed drawers. I really like the ornate of this, the ornate cuts that they did on these and it goes all the way across. Some you don't see very often and that Velos is known for that. They have a lot of options that you typically don't see with other builders. Uh, really, I love doing their homes. They always have something really cool to look at from their construction practices to their finished product is always, it never disappoints. It's always cool to watch. Um, really nice deep cabinetry, step-in pantry. You got staggered height cabinetry up here with six inch crown molding all the way across. Built-in vent fan. Now you'll notice that this does not have a stainless steel vent that goes out. So the first question that you'd want to ask is it vent outside. One of the ways that you can check that is just go here. And you can see that there is a vent that does go outside. So if you're cooking steaks in here or burgers or whatever have you, you can rest assured that that smoke and the grease will not be kicking back into the home. 36 inch cooktop, five burner gas, this is LG products. You got built in oven, built in microwave. Everything is stainless steel. Let's take a look at what's in here. Just a couple of different cabinets. I like this. This is really nice to see. It's even got the extra, see the little bit nicer appliances than what you typically see in a lot of homes out there, the steel inside. What's cool about the steel inside is that it doesn't turn yellow, it doesn't oxidize, it kind of stays this way, which is great. 
double base and stainless steel sink, Moen faucets, and then right above us we have this three-tiered skylight and that's that's actually glass that's tempered glass at nighttime or during the day you can actually see straight through it so um, if you have one of those really pretty nights which we have a lot of folks out in new mexico or in southern new mexico you can see 120 miles away even further sometimes and it's really really nice the skies if you you like stargazing um, really good place to do it i know we have a uh, eclipse coming up pretty soon a lot of people like to go to white sands for that and take a look it's really cool um, a lot of cool things in las cruces to do if you're ever considering it um, um, my page, newhomeswithmike.com, is dedicated to Las Cruces, and uh, you can actually read some of the blogs that I have on there. Very good information about anybody that's you know looking to move out here, um, even down to the tax information, school districts, you know, all that stuff. And then really cool here, dining room, nice drop chandelier, big picture window with a, with a wood ledging. And you have this really high tray ceiling up here with a radius coming into it. And uh, it goes from a 10 foot to about a 12 foot here. So I, I did one of these homes. It's almost like this one where it was in frame and we got to see how that was made. If you haven't seen that, take a look. That's a really cool video to show you the more of the bones of how these homes are built. Because you know these guys do build a little bit different than a lot of builders out there. Now, coming to this amazing great room, gas fireplace, wood mantle, wood open shelving. These are called sunken vault designs. And what they mean by that, it's almost like a, like a man-sized nicho. It kind of goes in, you could put arches, you can make them square, they put a light in there though. This is made to have like all your entertainment stuff, like your surround sound equipment, um, even pictures of the family, just memorabilia, whatever you, whatever you want, you know? But really nice to see this because these actually, these rely on ambient heat. So what it does, is it heats up the area. And if you don't have this actually here, what happens is your fireplace might heat up your flat screen a little bit too much. So you gotta be careful with that. Having a mantle is very, very good when you have a gas fireplace that doesn't blow in, you know, blow the heat into the gray room. Now, stacked stone all the way up to the 10 foot ceilings. Really nice, lots of different shapes and sizes and colors. And then this right here is for you to actually put your TV mount to. Super strong. Now, this right here has a Murphy tube. Like if you take this off, it's a tube, and that tube will go down to the side, and that's where you feed like your HDMIs, you know, anything that you need to be connected to a center or whatever have you, that's where you would feed it to. And of course, you have the plugins. But what a setting, right? I mean, take a look at this. Very nice open concept design. The floor trim actually is about six inches all the way around. I really like seeing that. They even have these cool like little kick plates where they stick out a little bit more. That really helps you from having any kind of lines there. It just kind of, and it does give you a little bit of depth too into the floor. I like that. Well done guys, well done. Now big arch, look at the size of this soffit. It's all thick. It's not like a smaller soffit, which are fine, but this is really cool. You don't see this very often. And I know how they build these. They actually cut pieces of wood and make it like a radius, almost like the fill staking, but they do it with wood. And then of course they do the sheet rock and the, and the texture. Very well done. Good place to have maybe some more paintings, maybe a small runner table. They didn't forget a plug in and there is an LED light up here as well. Now going into the master suite, What's not to love about this? Hidden shelf up here. I'm sure you could put a light up there if you wanted to. Um, it does have a fan over here. You got your built-in your built-in uh, headboard lights, which you know this is where the head of your your bed would be. And then not having to put a lamp here because you have the lights actually built in. 100% LED in this home, and three really nice windows with wood ledging looking into your backyard. Now, what's cool about this backyard is it's one of the very few new homes that you're going to see out there in any of these videos that's actually finished. A lot of times you go back to the backyard, it's graded dirt, ready for you to do whatever you're going to do to it. But this home actually does come with it. This home is priced at $449 right now and uh, it's a great price. Master bathroom, uh, his and her sinks, both undermounted rectangular sinks, Moen faucets. You got your framed mirrors, you got your built-in lights above it on the arch, you got your hand, your hand towel racks, really nice. GFI plugins, really good. And then your reading room area, so everybody likes these, you know, you have your own area to you know use the bathroom it's not exposed to anywhere else it's by itself with a door extractor fan and then i love this this is again and i've done this before these are snail showers where they don't need a door you just kind of come in this way and here you are so here's where you would take a shower 
and you don't have to worry about splashing going into your actual bathroom, which is really good. Now, if you, you know, you, you'll lose some heat though. So if you want to put even a shower curtain would be okay to retain the heat, but sometimes, you know, you kind of want the steam to just go up and out. This will be enough to keep you nice and warm, especially as the tile warms up and stuff. They did a really cool um, brick pattern on the flooring, a little bit lighter of a tile as well. And also upon entry is where they actually put the faucet control, which is good. You don't have to come into the shower to turn it on and to get it warm. Nice soaker tub, kind of a garden tub. It's all built in. I like how they did all the tile work all the way around it. This is that fiddle sticking that they do to make the radius. They have to use a diamond cutter to do that. They take these pieces of tile and they cut it into strips and that's how they're able to make this rounding here, which is really good. That's pretty, again, you gotta be talented. These the folks have been doing this for a long time. And then look, I mean, <laughs> holy master closet. <laughs> Very, very large, plenty of space for hanging. Uh, if you want a safe in here, I mean, you got plenty of space. Lots of cubbies, lots of storage, lots of different hanging property in here. You've got like your short hang, you got your long hang, you got long hang, short hang, short hang, you got long hang over here. Plenty, uh, plenty to do. And their carpet too, it's not like your plush shag carpet, but it feels really, really good. I really like that. All their fixtures are oil rub bronze, which I, I really like the oil rub bronze. It gives you some nice contrastic value to your lighter tone paints. Ah, right when you come into here, look at this. I mean, I can see myself in here, no problem. Eight foot glass door, big old huge six by six picture window. And a huge back patio. Now, Sonoma Ranch in this area, Diamond Springs, is known for a lot of hills, and some people like the character that that offers. And you can actually see that this is going uphill to a place called East Springs Road, and every home is about three feet taller, and then on this side, they're three feet lower, and you can actually see a part of Sonoma Ranch over there. See all the homes, and then you can even see like a church or something over there. And I can barely hear any traffic, even though you're centrally located, which is really good. Now, big patio, two lights, lots of concrete space. Look at these cuts they did. Almost made them look like stucco corbels. I mean, I just love the design that they do. And then they do those two tiers. You can see that Veloz built those as well. They did the double tier parapet walls on the, on the top of the, the walls there. I really like that. And then desert landscaping in the back as well. You have a rock outcropping here. Really nice tree. This is all in a drip system. You got, you got all these bushes all the way across. You got your Italian cypresses up top. And if you're wondering what those holes are, those are called weep holes. Those aren't for water to be draining every time it, you know, every time it rains. What that allows it to do is air to actually go into the soil that's underneath. That way you don't have what's called rock popping. Rock popping happens whenever you don't have any kind of exhaust and that heat starts to develop pressure. The pressure then will cause a rock to literally pop. It'll actually break, like explode almost and uh, it's actually mandated that once they get to a certain height of a retaining rock wall in Las Cruces you have to see these so if you're out there shopping you see those don't worry you don't have like waterfalls coming into your backyard and a lot of people have asked me about that so that's what those holes are for they even put a nice little stretch of faux grass I like this you don't have to water it you don't have to fertilize it you don't have to worry about weevils or any kind of diseases or anything like that that's fantastic now when I see this rock wall by the way I think to myself what a great place to have a theater <laughs> I mean you can get like a you know one of your projectors and put it up against the wall I think that would be really really cool um, be able to you know take your kids out for a movie in the backyard it's fantastic Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us today. I think I'm going to end the video here. Always appreciate you. And remember, if you haven't um, gone on newhomeswithmike.com, you should. It's a free website. It's really, really good and very intuitive. And uh, we'll give you a lot of information and the edge when you're out there shopping for Las Cruces. But nothing is as important as giving me a call and letting me guide you through this process of buying a new home or a resale or even advertising the home that you have. I really appreciate you all and uh, wishing you all a wonderful day. Thank you so much.